Hi friends, this is an announcement of our next live session that we will conduct on the coming Sunday, which is the 16th of May at 7 p.m. As usual, this live session will be accessible to all of our course enrolled students via the desktop app and we will use Slack for all the chat during the discussion itself. And this week's live session is a continuation of what we did in the last two weeks, which is Kubeflow for ML Ops. Again, as for those of you who don't know, Kubeflow is a very, very popular platform to build machine learning end to end and to productionize machine learning systems end to end. Again, this is the third part in this series of live sessions. And just to quickly recap in part one, we learned about the architecture of Kubeflow and all the important components and what each of the components does. In part two, we installed Kubeflow, we set it up and configured everything both on AWS and also on your personal laptops, right? We have discussed all of this. In part three, given that everything is set up and we have all the background knowledge, we will start building the pipelines, the end-to-end -end pipelines from data analysis, Jupyter notebooks up to, again, doing data analysis using Jupyter notebooks up to like serving, right? We will try and cover as much of it as possible in how to build end-to-end -end pipelines in case if one's live session is not sufficient, we'll also have a part four if need be. Most likely we might need one more part to complete everything thoroughly, right? Again, I know that it's slightly lengthy, but it's important to understand Kubeflow end to end so that you can actually deploy machine learning systems very comfortably at your place of work or for your case studies or in general to understand the whole system end to end since we started this, right? So. Most likely, we'll be able to finish part of pipelines in part three. We will continue that in part four. By, by then, hopefully by the end of this month, we should finish Kubeflow and have a complete idea of how it works. For those of you who are attending the coming week's live session, please cover part one and part two thoroughly. Otherwise, you may not be able to understand how pipelines themselves work. Again, for this session, we will be building the pipelines and the whole system itself on AWS. Again, once you know how to do it on one cloud-based system, it's very easy to uh, use the same knowledge to deploy it and to run the same pipelines on other cloud-based systems also. Okay, having said that, uh, please, please come well prepared. Please go through part one and part two if you have not gone through it so that uh, we can have a fruitful conversation and discussion and learning in part three of these series of live sessions.